Welcome to MATLAB Tutorials. In this video, I am going to explain about different types of filter masks. So to watch more MATLAB Tutorials, please subscribe to my channel Openbox Education. Here I am taking that original image. So for this original image, I am applying a Gaussian filter of size 3 by 3 mask. So I got this output image. And next here I am applying a low pass filter mask to this original image. So here I got this Im image at the output. And uh, I am adding for this original image a salt and pepper noise. So I got the output a noise image like this. And now here I am applying again a median filter of mask size is 3 by 3 to this original image. So I got this output image. And next here I am applying the a 7 by 7 a median filter mask to this original image so I got this type of output image and here I am applying a high pass filter to this original image so this is the output image I got and next the sharpening and finally I am going to apply a unsharp mask filter to this original image so I got the image like this so now we will go for the code for this results so already we know that about CLC close all and clear all so here these commands are used to clear the command window and it closes all the figures and it clears the screen so for this purpose here we are using CLC close all and clear all and next one here we have to read the test image so for reading the test image here I'm using one command that is I am read MATLAB command so which reads that particular image from a, a specified folder so here I am reading that image greyleaf.jpg so here I am reading that image greyleaf and this is the format of .jpg so my image equal to I am read greyleaf.jpg so here this my image is a, a variable you can use any type of variable and next one subplot 3 comma 3 comma 1 there is nothing but 3 rows three columns and the position of this my image is first position and uh, we are using matlab command im show which is used to show the output image that is nothing but here my image and the title of this my image is given as original image and next here we are using a, a matlab command that is f spatial which is used to create that mask and next one we are using another MATLAB command that is IM filter which is used to apply the a Gaussian filter mask to the image. So here we are using that the Gaussian filter mask of uh, size 3 by 3. So Gaussian mask equal to F spatial Gaussian comma 3. Nothing but here the Gaussian filter mask is of size 3 by 3. So we are uh, generating that uh, Gaussian filter mask of 3 by 3 and applying to this image by using that MATLAB command that is IM filter so here this filtered image equal to IM filter of my image comma Gaussian mask that is nothing but here we are applying that Gaussian mask to this my image so for this we are using this MATLAB command that is IM filter so we, like that we can use any type of filter mask by using this IM filter MATLAB command and next one is that subplot 3 comma 3 comma 2 so three rows three columns and position of this uh, filtered image is at 2 and the title of this image is given as output of Gaussian filter 3 by 3 uh, and uh, this I am show command which is used to show that output image filtered image uh, for all range of values and next one here we are using a, a low pass filter that is we are applying the a low pass filter to the original image so the size of that low pass filter is a, a 7 by 7 so here this is the a low pass filter that is a low pass filter mask we are using here so average filter is nothing but a, a low pass filter of a 7 by 7 and for this 7 by 7 the average value you will get as a 49 so here you will get that 1 by 49 into this 7 by 7 matrix so here we can use a commander C O N V2 that is nothing but 2D convolution MATLAB command so which is used to convolve that uh, entire column and row of this matrix 
so for this one we are using that uh, uh, 2d convolution matlab command so here this is the a matrix of a 7 by 7 size and we are taking that average so that we will get a, a low pass filter mask here there is nothing but average filter mask so by using this uh, convolution matlab command we can convolve that my image to average filter mask so we will get at the output as a, a low pass filtered output image so for this one here we are using that uh, subplot 3 comma 3 comma 3 so the position of this image is at 3 and uh, we are using im show matlab command uh, to show that output uh, filtered image there is a low pass filtered image and the title of this image is given as average filter with a 2d convolution that is nothing but low pass filter output and next one here we are adding that noise to that image so for this one here we are applying a, a salt and pepper noise with a noise density of uh, 0.5 so that will be added to that image that is nothing but my image is a original image we are adding that noise to this original image so we will get that noisy image at the output so we will get im show noisy image for all values so here you can see that the output noise image of salt and uh, that is uh, which is added with a, a salt and pepper noise and the title is given as that noisy image and next one here we have to remove this noise that is the salt and pepper noise so this will be removed by using a, a median filter of size 3 by 3 mask so here we have to use a, a matlab command that is a median filter 2 which is used as a, a filter for that image so here my median of size 3 by 3 image equal to median filter 2 of noisy image comma 3 by 3 there is nothing but the size of this mask is a 3 by 3 that is applied to that noisy image so that the output noise will be removed by using this median filter and here we are using the subplot so the position of this uh, my median filter 3 image is at position 5th and we are using the matlab command should to show that output image and the title is given as output of 3 by 3 median filter and here we are using for the same noisy image we are using a median filter of size 7 by 7 so that we will get some better results at the output so here we will get that output name as output of 7 by 7 median filter and the image shown at the output is a my median filter of 7 by 7 mask for all values and next we are using a high pass filter mask so here again we are using a matlab command that is a 2d convolution so simply we will apply this high pass filter mask so here this h equal to a matrix this is the a matrix of high pass filter mask so that will be convolved with a my image so that we will get that a high pass filtered output so here we will got that image show that is the a convolved image that is the high pass uh, filtered output image and the position of this image is uh, by using the subplot 3 comma 3 comma 7 that is the seventh position and the title is given as that output of high pass filter and next one here we are applying that uh, a sharpening filter so again here we are using the mask for a sharpening filter so this is the uh, matrix of uh, sharpening filter so again we are using that uh, 2d convolution matlab command to convolve this my image and uh, a sharpening filter and we are using the subplot 3 comma 3 comma 8 so the position of that image is 8 and uh, we are using i am show matlab command to show that output image and uh, finally we are using a unsharp uh, filter mask with a alpha value of 0 0.3 so simply we use f spatial which is used to apply different types of filters so here we are using a unsharp filter mask with a alpha value of 0.3 so this is the output image of unsharp filter mask and the subplot the position of this image is a ninth position output image here we have to use this i am show matlab command and the title of this image is given as output of unsharp mask filter so like this we will apply different types of masks to the image so here this is the 3 by 3 gaussian filter mask and here we are applying that uh, average filter that is nothing but low pass filter and here we are applying that uh, salt and pepper noise 
and here we are using that 3x3 median filter mask and here 7x7 median filter mask and here we are applying that uh, a high pass filter and here we are sharpening that image and here we are unsharp mask filter we are using so these are the outputs for this original image by applying different types of filters so thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education